Hello everyone, it's Brainy Janae. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. Welcome if you're new, welcome back if you're returning. In today's video, I'm going to be doing my community savings challenges as well as the battle of the boxes. So if you're interested in seeing any of this, please be sure to stay tuned. Okay, so before we get started with anything, we are going to start with this challenge. Uh-oh, knocking stuff off. We are going to start with this challenge from Donna, Powered by Creativity. And this is her community savings challenge where every week we stuff $18 into six different categories. So we will do this by rolling the dice and then stuffing two bills at a time. So let's go. Number one is Give Generously. Number three goes to debt. Three again. Five goes to abundance. Ooh. Three again. Self care. Give generously. Oh, poop. And last but not least, we have, oh, abundance. All right, so let's start with the back. Our O oh, poop got $2 this week. Definitely go check out Donna over at Donna Park, Power by Creativity because she has the list of everyone that is participating in this challenge if you would like to follow along and do it the same way that they're doing it because they are stuffing six dollars every or three times a week all right so self-care got two debt got one two three four five six well this is good at least every envelope got something this time that has not been the case for a while oh nope just kidding holiday get, didn't get anything Give generously, one, two, three, four. All right, and I need to condense these. Up next, we have this challenge from Ellie over at Ellie on Earth. And for this one, I am going to scratch. But before we do this, let's see how much money we are working with today. I have 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Oh, okay, 30, <laughs> 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, 7, 8, 9, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so that's 85, ooh, I put a lot in here this time, and then I did have some rollover from last time, so 85, 86, 7, 8, and $89 that we are stuffing today. That's a lot for this one. That's awesome. I need to put more of this in the farm. All right, so we got a three this time. So one, two, and three is going here. And this is a community challenge, like I said, from Ellie on Earth. If you reach out to her on her Etsy shop, she does graciously mail these out. I think I heard someone say she's sending them now to like 200 people, which is amazing. Um, and then all we do is let her know how much we saved. Um, her videos do come out on Fridays. So that is it for this binder. Now, the moment we have all been waiting for, our community challenge boxes. So I have my five. I have butterfly in number one, donut number two, Christmas in number three. I have the chocolate box number four, and then the monthly savings box in number five. So as we roll them, I will tell you what, who each one came from. But the first round I do is going to be where I do every single one. So the butterfly house is from my um, Etsy shop. 
I it was a collaboration I ended up doing with myself and then with Maria over at She's Got It. But I have completed all of the challenges from Maria. So we are just working on completing my portion of the butterfly house. So I am going to draw a card. Nope, that's the wrong cards. Where are they? Okay, here we go. I am going to draw my first card, which I numbered number 15, which is here. And I am going to grab my four-sided die. So the first one I got is a two. Let's roll again. I hope you guys can see. Maybe I should turn on my light. This feel like the sunlight is going away. When it's blank, I choose and I'm going to choose a one. All right, so this one is three, four, five, six, seven dollars. So five, six, seven is going to go in the main envelope. And then I am going to grab my prop bills to actually stuff in the house because I don't put the real money back here. So five and two is seven. And now this butterfly is complete. Let me turn on my ring light because, okay, it feels dark to me. I don't know if it's dark to you, but it feels dark to me. All right, so this butterfly is complete. And we can put this card in the discard section. All right, now in order to completely do your butterfly, you have to go back and you have to buy a net. So a net for me is $1. Just grab some bills. So $1 for the net. And then $1 for the plant. And then let's roll. Oops, I gotta put this back in there. Sweet. They must be having a sale. <laughs> And then $1 for the complete purchase of the butterfly. What I wish I would have done when creating this challenge was made this an actual like cage <laughs> because essentially that's what it's doing. It's, you know, housing your butterfly. All right. So that is that. Five. That's $10. So we'll put this back and grab a 10. Okay, so binder number one. Oh shoot, this needs to go. No, that was extra money. Okay, I don't need that. All right, so binder number one, butterfly house done. Binder number two is also from my shop. This is the donut box. And I also play with pretend money in this one. And we are going to grab a card and it is the purple donut, which, oh sweet, it's already on this one. So we got a four. So one, two, three, four. Good job, Brandy. Four goes in here. Then I have my donut money from Mari over at Budgets and Chaos. One, two, three, and four. Do I have twos? I do have twos. Let's do that instead. One, two and two i printed mine just out on regular paper and opted to not laminate them because i felt like it would be thinner in my binders and i'm still very pleased with that decision all right so that goes in here and then this goes in here the card goes in the discard section and this binder is done 
All right, number three, we have Christmas, which I was specifically waiting to do Christmas in July. This is from GB over at Income Babes. And let's pull a card. Uh, I think these are the Christmas ones. Oh, man. I keep pulling these scratch and search ones, and then I'm really sad. Sometimes they end up being really crazy. <laughs> All right. So this is a oopsie bag. Keep that out just in case. All right, so let's find, I think the scratch ones are here. Okay, oh, these didn't really have a thing, so I was just putting a dollar in for these. Okay, and we will cross that off. And then, because that one was kind of low, let's do a different one in this one. I know, I should be going through all of them, but let's do a couple of these, the 100 Days of Christmas. Um, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then that'll put $5 in this challenge for right now. I like that. Okay. Uh. All right, so that was Christmas. Then we have this one from Saving with Alicia. Her Etsy shop is A for Alicia. She created the chocolate box. So again, I am going to pull a card. We have white chocolate, which is in this section. And this one is $9. Her challenge does not play. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Like her challenge, it does not play. I want, um, I think I brought some more. Yeah. It's like, I think I brought some more envelopes in here. I want this one to have its own. So there is that $9. So we did this one. Okay. Put that back. And then last but not least, we have the Christmas box or the holiday box. And this is from I Will Always Save. So every, not holiday, monthly savings challenge. So every one of these has a card for each month. And then you... Um, can roll a dice and stuff, or you can decide how much each one it is. Like, it's completely up to you. So, August or... No, I'm lying. It'll tell you. <laughs> some of them, I think, tell you, and some of them maybe don't. I don't remember. But anyway, the August one, I have to save $5. So, we're going to put that in here. And then we will color August. with this green. All right, and that is it for that challenge. So now that we have gone through all of the boxes once, let's go ahead and roll to see which box we are going to do. So back to the monthly one. Pick a card. Oh. This is probably September. Oh my gosh. Roll a dice and triple it. Ah! Six. That's 18. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. I'm going to put that here because later on I'm going to be like, why is there so much money in here? 18. Gosh. 5, 10, 15, 
16, 17, and 18. Sheesh. Okay, maybe I should do that for this one too because maybe they will not always be. I'm like, man, maybe they won't always be even, uh, you know, <laughs> where it tells you. What was this one? The s'mores was six. Yeah, I better write this down. Because clearly some of the cards do not tell you what they are. I think that's all I've done in here so far. Okay, yeah. All right, let's roll again. Gosh. <laughs> Number five again. All right. Oh, my gosh. March. Whew. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. Roll a dice and triple it. Okay, much better. So, six for this one. Goodness. Okay. <laughs> this one's trying to get caught up. Seriously? Uh-uh. Let me, we get a different dice. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Okay. All right. Number two. I'm like, seriously? Number two is the donut box. Uh, let's let's go ahead and just pick another card. All right, we got this little swirly one. Oh, good. Also on card number one. And I am going to roll, and this one gets a five. So this will go in here. And... This will go in here. And okay, so let's explain the prop money. The reason why I'm using prop money is because at some point this game may be played independently. And so when that happens, just like any of the other ones that I play independently, when that happens, I like to just put all of the money in one spot and then use the prop money so that I don't have to keep dealing with like change. Um, although I'm doing this one right now in this bundle, that may not always be the case because obviously it can go on for, you know, quite some time. So the next time you see the donut box, it may just be me only doing the donut box like I have only done the butterfly box and so forth. So that's why I'm using the prop money for these, just in case you're wondering, like, why is she doing that? All right. So let's roll again. I don't think I said that before, so I wanted to make sure that that was clear. All right, so Christmas, um, we're going to pick, we're going to pick a card. Okay, so this is on number one. <laughs> Woo, $11. Mm, mm, mm. Five, 10, 11. Oh, goodness, goodness me. Okay. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. All right. Let's go. Next one. Okay. Christmas again. I need to keep checking my camera to make sure I don't lose my... Uh, Hold on, guys. I almost want to put the Christmas box cards in. I kind of want to put the Christmas box cards in something else because they are different sizes. Um, I'm going to have to find like, I'm going to have to find like a bag. They're different sizes. So I want to make sure that I am. Um, you know, drawing from them. 
fairly and not just picking the larger ones or the smaller ones. So let me just give these a shuffle. Maybe that'll help because I think I just kind of put them in there after I cut them last time. So let's give these a little bit of a shuffle. And then, yeah. Okay, that way I can draw the first one. Okay, let's put that back. Okay, so now, all right, we have the cookie charm. So we have to find that. I didn't write this one. Where's the cookie charm? Hmm. Where's the cookie charm? Okay, hold on. I don't know where it is. So it's not in section one. It's not in section two. It's not in section three. Y'all, where is the cookie charm? It's not in here because it's not a scratch and save one. Bro, I don't know where the cookie charm goes. <laughs> I don't know where it goes. So, yeah, I don't know. Friends, I don't know where this goes. Okay, so we're going to put that one to the side. I'll draw another one. I don't know where that goes. All right, so this is from number two, section two. And this is the little holly. I think that's what this is called. And this gets a five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I don't know where that goes. GB, if you're watching this, where does the cookie charm go? Oh, you know what? Some of these she has that go in her little box. She, she did a box where she stuffs for herself. So I wonder if that's one of those. I don't have one of those boxes because I just don't. But I wonder if that's where that goes. I'm going to ask about that. Okay, last but not least, let's roll. We got number one, which is the butterfly box. Okay, so we're going to pull a card. This is a task card, which is awesome. The contractor ironically we have pretty much finished the entire butterfly house but we've been doing this without a contractor this whole time <laughs> all right and so six for the contractor please have six please have six one two three four five six <gasps> yay all right so that's going to go in here y'all need to do some serious serious condensing in like all of my binders and then we're going to grab our butterfly money a five and a one and we only need one more task card and the actual construction of the building is done. So all we need are our floors. I kind of want to just find that one, but I'm not going to because that would be cheating. <laughs> um, so, yeah. What do we have left? We have one, two dollars. So we're going to go back to the Christmas box because I don't really want any rollover money this time. We're going to go back to the Christmas box and we're going to add this in this challenge. I think this is going to be like my rollover funds. And we'll just add those two dollars in there. And then I know when this was when this one is done, it will save a hundred dollars, which is amazing. So, yeah, I think the extra money I'm going to just put in this one. To that way, there's no like, you know, rollover because that's weird. All right, you guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed today's Community Savings Challenges and Battle of the Boxes. If you did, 
please leave me a thumbs up in the comments. No, <laughs> leave me a thumbs up in the comments. Please give me a thumbs up in the comments. Wow. Please give me a thumbs up <laughs> in the comments if you made it this far. I would like for you to put a laughing emoji because your girl is a hot mess. Um, but I appreciate you guys. You are absolutely amazing and you are loved. If no one has told you that today, I love you. I do. So be safe, be kind, or be quiet and be well. And I'll catch you in the next one.